So let's read the question. A car moves with a speed of 80 km per hour for 15 minutes and then with a speed of 120 km per hour for the next 15 minutes. Find the total distance covered by the car. So let's begin. So let's try to visualize this problem. Let's say the car starts from point A and goes to point B. So from A to B, it is moving with the speed of 80 km per hour. So I'll write down over here, speed is 80 km per hour and the time duration is 15 minutes. So time duration is 15 minutes. Is this clear? Then let's say it goes from B to point C. Now the speed is 120 km per hour. So speed is 120 km per hour. For how long? Again 15 minutes. So this is how we draw a figure to visualize our problem. Is this clear? What we have to do is we have to find the total distance covered by the car. So what is the total distance covered by the car? Distance from A to B plus distance from B to C. So I've already drawn my figure and written down the information. Now we'll apply the formula. So first we'll talk about AB. So in AB, write down what is given to you. Speed is given to us as 80 kilometer per hour. Now because speed is in kilometer per hour, that means distance has to be in kilometers and time has to be in hours. But time is given to me in minutes. So we have to convert to hours. I repeat, see guys, because the speed is in kilometer per hour, therefore distance has to be in kilometer and time has to be in hours. But my time is in minutes, so convert it to hours. How do we convert to hour? Divide by 60. So 15 divided by 60, 1 4. So that is 1 fourth of an hour. Now apply the formula. What do we have to find distance? So recall the triangle DST. What is distance? Speed into time. So write down over here, distance is equal to speed multiplied by time. So write down the speed. That is 80 kilometers per hour along with the units into time. That is one fourth of an hour. So as you can see, hour, hour cancel. 80 divided by four. That is 20 units being kilometer. So whenever you write the values with the units, you'll automatically get the correct unit. That means the distance from A to B is 20 kilometers. Similarly, we'll do from B to C. So B to C, the speed is given to us as 120 kilometer per hour. And the time is given to us as 15 minutes. So see, again, speed is in kilometer per hour. So time has to be an hour. So divide by 60. So that is one fourth of an hour. Now, again, what do we have to find distance? So write down the formula. That is distance is equal to speed multiplied by time. So plug in the values. What is the speed given to us as 120 kilometer per hour into time? That is one fourth of an hour. Hour, hour cancel, 120 divided by 4, that is 30 kilometer. So distance traveled from B to C is 30 kilometers. So what is the total distance traveled? 20 plus 30, that is 50 kilometers. So I'll write down over here, therefore total distance traveled or total distance covered is equal to 20 kilometers plus 30 kilometers over here. So the final answer is 50 kilometers. So this is how you solve this question. So whenever we are given different parts of a journey, like here we are given two parts, one part so and so speed and so and so time, another part so and so speed and so and so time. So always draw a figure like this. So once you draw a figure, it becomes very easy for us to visualize the problem. So there are two parts of the journey, A to B and B to C. Solve for A and B, solve for B to C and then combine the two. So distance travel from A to B, 20 kilometers. Distance travel from B to C, 30 kilometers. Or we can say distance covered in the first part of the journey, 20 kilometers. Distance covered in the second part of the journey, 30 kilometers. So what is the total distance covered? 20 plus 30, that is 50 kilometers. And remember guys, don't forget to change your units. Because speed is in kilometer per hour, that means distance has to be in kilometers and time has to be in hour. Because time was given to be in minutes, hence we converted to hours. In case you put in minutes over here, what will happen? Minutes and hour will not cancel out. So you'll get the answer kilometer minute per hour does not work. So remember guys, whatever are the units of speed, accordingly you have to take distance and time. 
So because speed was kilometer per hour, that means distance has to be in kilometer, time has to be in hour. Is this clear? So this is how you solve this question.